This conference will now be recorded. So we will be starting our next topic, that is vendor consultant. So the topics that we are going to cover, they are in vendor consignment. We will see procurement process with consignment. So basically we will understand what is consignment process. Master data and settings required for vendor consignment process. So we will see what, what master data and what are the other settings we need to do. Okay. Post goods movements for consignment stock. How to do, how to receive the consignment stock, how to issue the consignment stock. Those things we will understand. Settle consignment withdrawal. How to do the settlement once the consignment stock is used. Okay. And display consignment stock. Okay. So these are the topics we will be covering in the consignment process, under consignment process. Okay. So first we'll start with the vendor consignment overview. Okay. So basically in consignment processing, the vendor provides materials and store them on your premises. So here what happens is vendor will supply the material. And it is stored in our premises, in our company premises. But still, the ownership of that material lies with the vendor. Okay. The vendor remains the legal owner of the material until you withdraw materials from the consignment stores. So he delivers it. It is stored in our premises. But till the consumption, till you consume it, he will be the owner of the material. The ownership lies with him. Okay. You have an arrangement with a vendor to supply a particular quantity of consignment material to your company. So initially, you will have an arrangement. You will have an agreement that you supply the material to me, supply the material to me. Then once you, once I whenever I consume, I will pay. Okay, only after consumption only they, you will pay the uh, uh, money to the vendor. Okay, the consignment material is still owned by the vendor until you withdraw it from the consignment store or post it into your own valuated stock. So till the consumption, till the consumption, the owner of that material is vendor only. Vendor only. Okay. You take ownership of the material when you issue to a cost center or transfer it to your own stock. Okay. So uh, the ownership will come to us. Either you consume it to a cost center or or you transfer it to your own valuated stock. Okay. You settle your consignment liabilities with the vendor at set periods of time, for example, monthly. So as you keep on consuming it, whenever required, you settle that consumption. You have to pay, right? You are consuming it, right? So that at a predefined interval, you will make the payment to the vendor, like example, monthly. Example, it is monthly. Okay, so this is consignment process. So if you see here, you will understand. So here we have our own plant and you have the vendor. Okay, so you ask the vendor to uh, provide the material. You create a purchase order and you will give it to him. He will receive the purchase order and he will deliver the material. But here no invoice, no invoice. So you receive the material and you will put it in the consignment stock consignment stock. Now whenever required, you consume, it, you withdraw it. So the moment you consume or withdraw it, there will be a uh, 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 this one, uh, the ownership, the, basically the uh, you need to make the payment to the vendor and then you will make the payment to the vendor, but with the withdrawn quantity. There will be a liability created for the vendor. Okay, so basically in the normal purchasing, you receive the material immediately you will make the payment to the vendor whether you are going to consume it or not. but in consignment stock in the consignment stock when you consume it then only you will make the payment to the vendor and this consignment stock ownership lies with the vendor okay till, till it is consumed okay so this is called consignment okay so now in sap how it works is i'll show, I'll show you so first Purchasing department, they will create a consignment info record. Consignment info record. Consignment info record. Then you create a purchase order. The, the purchasing department will create a purchase order. It is called consignment purchase order. Then the vendor will receive this purchase order. 
he will receive the purchase order then against that purchase order he will send the material to the company so here here it is the company or company here it is a vendor supplier now he delivers the material now you will receive the material okay then that material is received as consignment stock consignment stock now whenever you withdraw it you consume it or withdraw it okay then there will be a liability then there will be a liability liability means you need to make the payment to the vendor then periodically you will settle those liabilities to the vendor so you say you pay make the payment to the vendor so this is the process in ac this process now we will see it in the system we'll see it in the system how to execute okay so first we'll start with master data required for vendor consignment what is the data required okay so basically apart from your normal material so normally what you need any any purchasing activity you need a material you need a material okay then you need a vendor vendor okay on top of this you need a purchase info record this is mandatory purchase info record this is mandatory it is mandatory purchase info record okay so here you will create a purchase info record with purchase info record type consignment consignment i will show you this in the system okay so now let me go to the system let me create a fresh uh, uh, material i'll just create a fresh material let me create the material we are losing time So I have created a material. I have created a material. This is a material. Okay. Let's use the vendor, existing vendor. Okay, two zero one two. This is the vendor. Now you need to create the purchase info record. So the purchase info record is mandatory. But the consignment. Okay, so let me create the info record. Okay. I'll go to M11. M11, create info record. I'll enter the vendor 2012. This is the material we just created. Purchase or our purchase organization is this one. And the plant is this one. Okay. Now here you see there is an info record category consignment. So you have to use this one. We already discussed the standard subcontracting discussed now we are creating with consignment just continue okay you will get this one now go to purchase organization data okay here enter the plant delivery time let's say five days quantity okay and the price net price so let's say that price is 10 euro enter it purchasing group i'll enter the purchasing okay done entered conditions we have just maintained go back text if you want to maintain text you can maintain text done now go to purchase our data everything we have maintained now saved okay so purchase info record is created with the category consignment with the category consignment that is what we have done this is mandatory if you don't have the purchase info record then it will not the process will not work okay 